Okay, and so we move on to Vash. Now Vash uh, lives in a uh, very small hamlet. It's not even so much a village called Greenest. And uh, this is uh, in the uh, foothills of the of the mountains on the um, uh, on the eastern interior of the Sword Coast. And um, Bash has lived here for all of his life, as long as he can remember, um, and that's a significant period of time. Um, he lives with his his mother and father in a tiny uh, little cottage with an outhouse at the bottom of a lane on the far south of the village. And in the time that he has lived there, which is um, considerable number of time for a, a relatively young looking man he's seen the village turn from just a cluster of small farmhouses into a slightly larger uh, conurbation and, and almost almost reaching the, the size of um, a village but not quite. Now Vash has largely grown up um, under the tutorage he's not attended school Worked, but he's been educated by his mother and father. And one of the the uh, key um, uh, things that uh, the Vash has, has learned over the years is that um, his parents are from a land uh, known as Barovia. tiny baby and uh, his understanding is they were forced to flee um, for his safety and even though he's heard the tales many many times he can't quite understand why they left. His father commonly rages um, about um, Strad von Zarevich, who controls the land of Barovia, and it was unsafe uh, for him to uh, stay. As Vash got older, it became clear that he was not the same as the other children in the village and was largely shunned by the other children in the village as being clearly unusual. And as he grew older, his parents confessed that um, uh, that they were uh, also vampires that is um, uh, and that he as a child of a vampire was called a dump here and that he was not human and Vash understood then why he had never fit in to the, the village life in Greenest why he was an outcast Although that made him sad, it also gave him a reason to study and a reason to learn. And so his parents taught him the uh, history of Barovia. They taught him the lords that came before Strad and what the land had been before he arrived. And um, in, the, in the long periods of time where um, uh, Vash's parents uh, would uh, sit him down and drill him with information. His dad would rage about how Stroud's power is drawn from the very land that he rules. And he paces around um, talking about he is the land and uh, the land is him. And that he cannot do to others what he did to us. He cannot ruin lives like he ruined us. We must take him. And Vash would wander the fields, largely staying away from the other people in the village sometimes, going to the tavern and, and drinking there alone in the early evenings, um, wondering what he should do hoping that his life would be more than living in this backwater village of nowhere and 
feeling like an outcast. And then one day his mother sits him down and goes, your father and I would like you to go back for us and for the people still there. And Vash looks at her and knows instinctively what she's talking about. We would never make you, son, but we would like you. And we will try and help you as far as we can. We would like you to go to Barovia and avenge what happened to us to take down Strad von Zarovich. We believe you have the knowledge and the skills and the power and I have arranged for you to meet someone in the tavern across the, across the square if you would. And Vash nods and, and walks with his, his mother across um, to, um, to the tavern um, on the far side of the square. And as he enters, he's been here before many times and he knows York, the jocular barman. Um, who, who sits behind the bar and immediately pours Bash and, and his mother a, a, a glass of wine and leaves them be, although he's friendly because that would be the business of the tavern. He also knows to leave them well enough alone. And so he sits with his, um, his mother and as they sit there, a woman approaches them from the shadows on the far side of the bar. And she comes over and uh, sits with them. And despite being in the light of the fire, Vash noticed that she seems almost translucent as if she's nothing more than a shadow and York seems not to notice her at all and she sits um, at the table um, uh, next to um, next to Vash and his mother and his mother greets her like an old friend Vash, this person got us out of Barovia when you were small, and they have promised to take you back if you wish to go. And the woman in the top hat and the tails says nothing, and she sits with her legs crossed and her fingers steepled and rocking backwards and forwards and just looking at Vash with her eyes fixed almost at a point through his skull. She has promised she can offer you safe passage to the gate. And the woman speaks the first time and goes, I do not make any promise to bring him back this time. And Vash's mother nods. And then she leans forward and she gives uh, Vash uh, a pin, um, a, uh, a sigil uh, that is uh, a sort of stylized uh, raven and um, goes, I trust in your ability. I have trusted this person with our lives before and know that she is trusted.
trustworthy. I bid you good travels, Bash, and all your success. So Vash leaves the the tavern, and as he leaves, he um, notices a, a wagon uh, stood outside that was not there when um, he went into the tavern, and the woman with the top hat and the tails is leading a horse and attaching them to the to the front of the wagon. And Vash turns around and sees his mother standing in the door, looking sad and yet um, proud of him. So he travels. In the wagon. For what seems like little more than an hour. And then the wagon draws to a halt and Vash gets out. And there are tall trees reaching high, high above him, and in front stands a stone gate with torches on either side. And as he looks back down the road, away from the gate, he sees an old man in black robes and grey hair walking towards him. And the raven pin on his cloak begins to glow. And as he turns, the gate begins to open.